Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, we're going to be looking at Cyberlux Corp, ticker symbol CYBL. So CYBL has released multiple news recently. We're first going to be looking at their earnings for the end of 2021 and also their Q4 earnings. Then talk about one of the recent acquisition of Catalyst Machine Works, which is quite important for CYBL. And just looking at the technical analysis for Cyberlux Corp as well. We've recently talked about for Cyberlux Corp with the 50MA bounce, talking about how the 50MA is going to act as a support for CYBL. And one of the levels we should be looking at is 0 0.0191 to 0 0.02. So far, we have reached one of our profit targets. So for those of you who did manage to buy in at the 50 MA, now depending on the levels you bought in, which again could have been bought on this pullback, you're looking at roughly around a 34% swing trade. Now, I've always talked about how CYBL is a company that is obviously good for the long term. And so whilst it is good to hold shares for the long term, I think it's still important to understand the opportunities in the short term and take profit when you can. And like as an example, this right here would be an example example of when you take the profit you know the reason one of the reasons why we say this is because some people may have bought into cybl when we first mentioned it which is actually around this level as well and again we mentioned about multiple levels where you should be thinking of taking profit and if you did um take profit on the way you would be up despite the fact just a couple of weeks ago you know we were seeing cybl actually down 62 percent from when we first covered it but if you took profit on the way even at times like this you will actually be net positive overall and that's why i think the importance of take profit is so guys in this video we're going to be talking about more news and about some of the biggest plays that's going to cover cybl so you guys make sure you stick until the very end as always guys show support for cybl by smashing that like and subscribe button down below none of this is financial advice or do say what i'll say with a grain of salt make sure you do your own due diligence and research and without any further ado let's get straight into it so let's look at one of the first news for cybl so cybl announces acquisition of catalyst machine works llc to accelerate its unmanned aircraft solutions platform within the u S. And so they bought this company recently, and I do want to mention some things that is, I think is important to highlight. Firstly, CYBL owns 100% of Catalyst Machine Works. So they own 100% of this company, meaning that they are able to do whatever ultimately they want with it, and they're going to do it to the best they can. We've seen CYBL make acquisitions of other companies, and really then, not only do they use these acquisitions to help aid CYBL, but they also make sure that these companies can operate as an individual as well. And so I think this is a great acquisition. And in a transaction and compromise of both investment capital and a three year earn out of shares of common stock with an expected value between 0.05 and 0.25. Now, I think this is quite important because that they are basically saying what CYBL is looking to be worth in three years time, at least right now. And this is with just a normal fundamental analysis. There is nothing involved in this. You know, we could be seeing more acquisition being made. We could see um, be seeing more capital flowing in. But with what they have right now, and this is the most common way, you know, they have worked out that their company will be worth around 0 0.05 to 0 0.25 in three years time, which again, despite, you know, at its current price, even at 0 0.05, you're looking at almost a 5x. And if you go all the way to 0 0.025 or 0 0.25, you're looking at a close to 20x return. So I think that is quite a crazy amount. And again, that is from CYB, like them mentioning themselves. And guys, you guys can see that as a result, the online aircraft solution business user will deliver unexpected, an expected annualized revenue of 22 million USD with an expected growth to over $67 million in revenue by 2024. Understanding obviously how well that this is going to do for them in the long run. And maybe one of the questions is why are they making these acquisitions and what are some of the things we should be working um, or focusing on? So the acquisition of this is CMW, so Catalyst Machine Works, Cyberlux is accelerating its UAS strategy with an immediate focus on the UAS hardware and software offerings with immediate demand and market sale. So right now with this, this does seem like a short term news to me. While there is long term aspect, obviously, like we talked about here, 2024, they have expected growth to over $67 million in revenue. They are doing this with immediate focus on the UAS hardware, hardware and software. So I definitely think we're going to be seeing more news around the UAS strategy in the upcoming months. And definitely that is going to prove to be more potential for CYBL. Just recently, we can see how well these catalysts is obviously doing for CYBL. Again, seeing this 33% um, you know, movement upwards. Right now, we're trying to break this area of the 0 0.0191. Now, we're looking at this whole area to be around an area right now of resistance. If we can break above it, that would be extremely good for us. But so far, there will be more swing plays available. One of the things that we should be looking out for 
And again, for those of you who do want to short a stock, maybe you could be looking at this rejection of the 0 0.0191 resistance, you know, again, going to that 50 MA. But I definitely think that we are going to be seeing a pullback. And this pullback may not go exactly to the 50 MA, but definitely we're going to be looking at another 20 to 25% swing trade available. I'm just highlighting this out now when the opportunity does arise. Obviously, I will be talking about it to the subscribers as well, to you viewers. So make sure you stay tuned for that. Make sure you click that subscribe button so you don't miss out. Now, then we're going to be looking at the revenue. So Cyberlock Score reports record financial and operational results, delivering $8.1 million dollars in revenue and 1.9 million in net income for year ended 31st of 2021. Now, the reason why I think this is important is because we have talked about why CYBL at this current level, I really do think, and even the lower levels, is an undervalued stock. The reason for this is because we are known we have known and CYBL is known for the fact that they have been breaking a lot of record financials. CYBL really is a gem right now and every quarter you can see it shaping and shaping and shaping. And right now everyone's getting more and more surprised to the fact where eventually they're going to grow to a massive revenue. We have seen multiple times where they have broken their revenue by expectations and that itself just shows how well CYBL is operating. Now, if we look at some of the news, so the financial highlights, revenue from operations for the three months of 5.49 million up 244% form the 2.25 million in revenue for the previous quarter and the September 30th, 2021. So in just one quarter, we've seen a 244% increase in revenue you guys can already see how big that is revenue from operation for the three months end of december exceeded june estimate by 205 percent within 5.49 million versus 2.5 million expectation you know they're not just saying they're not trying to give a low expectation and then suddenly when they break it they're like oh wow you know look at us we're making massive you know um breakings because this is just a huge number. If you are looking at a normal 2.25 million in revenue, you know, you're not expecting your company to hit 5.49. 2.5 million is an increase and that is the normal kind of growth you are expecting, but yet they are doing way more than that. They're doing 244%. And that is huge. And that's why, again, guys, not only am I saying that CYBR has opportunities in the short term, I also think that they have opportunities in the long term because of the fact they're always doing things that was increasing and improving their company. Then we have looking at revenue from operations for the 12 months of 8.11 million, an increase of 8.11 million on a year over year basis. Net income from operations for the 12 months ended of 1.9 million versus zero on a year over year due to pandemic shutdown. So these, you know, whilst these are not actually quite important because of obviously the pandemic shutdowns, I think some of the highlights we are looking at is that if we are comparing results every quarter, they're just increasing, increasing. And everyone is really just sleeping on that. By the time where I think we're going into the end of this quarter for 2022, the quarter four, then we're going to see a massive number. And that's when everyone will understand, wow, this company is really undervalued and hence why the money is coming back in. Again, going back to why they think their company should be worth 0 0.05 to 0 0.02 uh, to 0 0.25. You know, some of the other stuff that we are looking at here, total assets increased to 9.3 million from 0 0.079 million, an increase of 118 times year on year. Liabilities not related to financial activity reduced from 5.5 million to 4.3 million, a 22% decrease versus year end December 31st, 2020. So overall, from these financial um, results and from these quarter results, you guys should understand that CYBL is growing as a company. And so whilst you guys may not be focusing too much on what sort of industry they're working on, how well this industry is going to grow, just on paper alone, their result is quite good. And in fact, it's very good. And they're only going to continue to grow. We have seen them grow and grow and grow to the fact, obviously, they're going to be a point where they won't be able to grow by 200% quarter to quarter. But that by that time, they will have reached a massive number. Maybe by that time, the quarterly revenue is 20, 30 million and they're growing by maybe say 10%, so 3 million every quarter. But that in comparison to the 2.25 million that they are doing now will obviously be a huge change. And hence why I think that CYBL is a massive play in the long run. But again, in the short term, we are still looking at plays. I want to make sure everyone if you are and want to scale it into CYBL, you know, it's important to understand where you should maybe average down your shares, where you should take a position because we are trying to minimize our loss. And like I said, guys, for those of you who bought into CYBL around this level, or even at this level over here, you know, even when if you're looking at 0 0.03 to 0, 
we have talked about multiple swing trade positions looking at the chart right now you guys can see the levels i have pinned out you know even then if we look at one of the first levels that is a 47 percent and then again we're looking at another 47 percent we have talked about multiple swing trade if you guys want to go check those previous videos out just as a proof um because it, you know it's already too late now to take these trades but the reason why i do this is that if you are managing to buy in up here, I want to make sure that even when you see CYB out at a 44% loss from that original position, you are still net positive because of the swing trade, because of the positions that you took in averaging and just kind of really trying to hedge against your positions against a downfall. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching this video and I'll catch you guys next time.